down, get down to the to the B side. Hello, beautiful people. <laughs> hello, beautiful people. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome, baby. Come one, come all. Welcome back, back, back again, baby. The Angela Roche show is about to start. Y'all, come on in. Let's get together. We're going to get this in real quick out the way. We're not going to be here too long. This one, actually, this was actually a really good episode. A couple things to talk about, but not too much to get in depth with. Just some things that I noticed and I can't wait to get into. So with that, we're going to get started. We are talking about my production notes. The things that I noticed, didn't notice, or you might not have noticed in episode five of Chasing Dallas, season five. Let's get right into it. Baby, we started back off. Um, hold on, that light is really bright on me, my goodness. Mm-mm. I'm giving caucus in the face. I wasn't really liking that. Okay, uh, much better. Okay, make sure the Vaseline not running. I mean, it's on. Just don't want it to look like it's melting. Child, I want to look moisturized, not shiny. I am not a shiny Pokemon. I am that special, though. I am that special. But anyway, let's get back into it. So the first thing, I'm not going to hold you my first note for this one, baby. And Daria, why did you have to put that whole Easy Bake Oven commercial? That was unnecessary, friend. But I hollered. Ooh, I hollered. That was so funny. When Ariel called that man Easy Bake, and that Easy Bake Oven commercial popped off. But, you know, Dario is real, real good for throwing in a little reference to the side of the people while they're talking. But usually it's in the green screen. So the fact that you caught her uh, while it was out here was real, real cute. So I appreciate that. Um, the next thing is, because, you know, they have a couple different scenes with people talking outside. I just want to know who was standing behind the door to tell people to go. Okay, because it definitely gave, okay, they're talking about you now, go. All right, Marquise, they're talking about you, go. You know, we made sure we got the sound effect on when the people walked out the door. It was crazy. I said, somebody has to be standing back there telling these people, and action. Because it was. there's no way. There's no way Astro and Marquise walked out there like that by accident. I refuse, refuse to believe that was an accident. Um, now, there was one thing. Um, and this happened a couple times, but I only know that here. Um, we go to exit a scene, and we go to watch Robert leave. And you see the shot of him open the door and he looks back and then it cuts to a wider shot of the exact same camera angle showing the same thing again and I was like was that on purpose did we mean to show him do this twice it might have been and I would have understood it if it was from a different angle but you got it right up close and then you just got it from far back and honestly like the same camera you just zoomed it in the first time I don't know I, it wasn't my favorite of moves. Um, <laughs> so here we are. Outside of that, you know, this was cute. Um, the next thing we have. Ooh. Um, oh, wait. I'm so sorry. Before I move on. Um, the end of this scene, moving into the next one. Um, now, Seven. Seven, this is no shade, friend. Um, you mentioned that you have seen the other season and you didn't want it to give this Dior you know, man versus manager, whatever, whatever type tease, however, comma, um, have y'all realized that so far y'all have not given Mark Helen and Dario anything to work with. That's not, we're a couple and he, we're working together, which I'm glad y'all are chasing and working. But if the idea is that that's not y'all whole storyline, it would be nice to see y'all go on a date to not the studio to have scenes with other cast members where y'all are not together now we do get one i've yet to get one from seven if i remember i mean i got one we you know the introduction scene but i don't think we've seen seven interact with any of these people since then so unfortunately seven at this point of the filming sir your identity is your identity because like the people already know who you was as an artist but as it relates to in this group you are his boyfriend because you have not created those spaces with these people yet. And I mean that based on what we have seen on the show. You might have these amazing moments with these people outside of this, but if it's not on camera and it's not on the episode, it does not count. Um, so as far as it relates to the episode that we've seen, y'all whole storyline is y'all being in a relationship so far. That's literally it. 
which is fine. Y'all are a gorgeous couple and y'all work hard. So, like, ain't nobody mad at it, but, like, y'all can't be sitting there saying, that's not our storyline, that's not our storyline. Um, Actually, I don't know if you saw last season. Last season, Casey's storyline was he got in a fight, and people wanted to know if Dior was his man or his manager. Now, were there other things that happened with him? Absolutely. But that was his story. That's what we got from Casey in terms of a story last year was, he got in a fight because somebody thought he was kind of cute. Wasn't, didn't DeAndre first think he was kind of cute? I don't know. I don't want to put that on nobody. Either way, he got in a fight, and then people wanted to know, is it man or manager? That was it. That was his whole thing last year. That's no shade to Kesey. Kesey seemed real, real, real cool. But that's what we the people watched. So, Seven, you can't come in and say, that's not what it's going to get. No, Seven, that's literally all we know so far. We don't know nothing else. So hopefully y'all gave them on the call sheets some scenes where y'all get to do some relationship things that are either not work-related or y'all do some more work-related things that are not with one another and happen to be with other cast members. Because otherwise we're, we're, it is given y'all relationship as the storyline. Um, so we'll see. We'll see where it goes. We had to get there. Um the next thing I had to say, ooh, seven. Did y'all record this set of green screens after the first two episodes? Or did you just get real, real, real comfortable on the second go round? Because baby, I mean, not that you wasn't given the first time. <laughs> but you woke up in this new green screen outfit. <laughs> it was giving a joy and a pleasure for Markel. It, it gave that you made Markel's life very, very easy, which brings me to this next part where you start talking about Marquise and Astro doing the whoop the whoop together. Um, that little face you made at the end that Dario made a point to leave lingering, uh, which was there to cast doubt. Um, uh, <laughs> that edit, he ate that. Dario, you ate that. You left that that face in there because that face that that face seven gave <laughs> that face that seven gave at the end of that scene when he was talking about Marquise and um Astro and the green screen. That's that face gave. Was that messy enough for you, Markel? Was that good enough? Did I do it well? Do, do you want me to do it? Again? Was that good? It's given. He probably recorded it once, and Markel was like. Mm, are you sure that's how you want to do it are you sure that's what you want to say are you sure it's given Markel gave him one of those and so seven spiced it up and, <laughs> and then we got what we got that's my that's my prediction that is I'm, I'm sticking to it too they can tell me I'm wrong and that's fine but that's what I think happened I think he recorded it and Markel went you sure you sure that's how you want to do it? I don't. Okay. Oh, actually, no. No, Markel. He probably went. Mm, no, that was kind of boring. We need to like amp this up or something. Cause yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah probably that. <laughs> Ooh, cause that face definitely gave. Did I do it? <laughs> but shout out to y'all. This was. A, I'm enjoying seven in these green screens. No shade. No shay. I am enjoying him in the green screen. <laughs> Eating it up. Okay. Um, the next thing um is Astro and his gay dad filming the, the shot. Um, Markel and team, this is where I have to give y'all the credit of the of the world and the earth. Um, y'all were able to somehow light well enough in the middle of the night with Astro, who is a deep, beautiful, dark chocolate man, and everybody was visible. Y'all should be very, very proud of yourselves. Mark, I mean, not Mark, I'm sorry. Dario, I don't know how much post-editing you did to lighten that up. I don't know if that was all lighting from being out there. I don't, I give y'all credit. Also, Markel, Kiki is somewhere looking at you crazy because you told them people that you wasn't coming out that late at night filming this, that, and the fourth, but yet you out here in the middle of the dock with Astro stuff, but you wouldn't come out to one of her balls. The disrespect you gave, Markel, was enough. Ooh, it was enough. 
I'm kidding, y'all. By the way, them balls be happening at like two o'clock in the morning, not nine thirty p.m. Let me, <laughs> but but you still played in my sister Kiki's face. I'm just saying, you could have showed up to one of them night events. You showed up to to Astro night. You showed up to Astro's bus event. Okay, you Markel, you show up for night events, or or is it just is eleven p.m. the cutoff? Is that what it is? We not doing nothing after like eleven midnight. Is that where we're done? Which would make sense because you know the boss be that. <laughs> Either way, uh, as my girl Tracy would say, we blame Markel no matter what. It's just Markel's fault. We are gonna find some way to drag it back to Markel. <laughs> Shout out to Tracy. All right, let's see. Let's get to the next thing here. Ooh, oh, Tetley and Kesey scene. Um, one, I, I mean, I did make the comment that we hadn't seen Kesey with nobody else. Thank God we got to see this because I was saying that to myself and then I said, oh, okay, cool. I stand corrected. Um, but then y'all proceeded to talk about this relationship situation, which I get it. It just happened, but it was like, well, damn. Um, <laughs> Ted Lee and Kesey, both of y'all, I need y'all to go to the Jet Jeff school of last year. <sighs> I know this is such a minor thing, and I'm like not. I'm I'm going to say something about it every time. I just wish y'all would say last year instead of last season. I just, I don't know. Some people are like, "Well, it doesn't matter. We all know what they mean." Some of us, some people, sure, but for somebody like me, it takes me out of the fantasy, as if I'm watching you do this stuff pseudo in real time like i know better we all know better like no one's stupid we know this stuff is not happening like this week like we know it didn't really just happen however if you leave us in the fantasy of it it allows us to enjoy it more and not have to be consistently analyzing the show and we can just analyze your lives as it relates to the things we see on the show um because as we all say in the review world whatever y'all do off camera we don't care <laughs> be real honest with you. as long as what you do off camera does not affect the things on camera we do not care um politely i hope everything that y'all do is well great and perfect i don't i'm not interested in discussing it and if i want to know about it i'll follow you on instagram <laughs> that's just the tea so yeah i wish i would say last season instead of last year outside of that the scene was clean we're moving right along um oh jeff Um, you know, Jeff, I was saying they need to go to the Jet Jet School of last year because all through the scene, Jet kept saying last year, last year, last year. And I said, golf clap. Well, actually, golf clap to you, bitch. <laughs> but then we have to move to my favorite edit of this episode. And Daria, you are a messy, messy bitch for this one. Ooh, Daria, you so, ooh, you so messy. And I live, I scream. No, I won't hold you. I had to watch this on the replay because I was doing an actual, I was doing a gig um, when the show was airing. I was, you know, doing drag. So I watched it on the replay. Baby, Jet asked, Jet asked, I must call that man by his full name, but it's because it's a nice name. His name is Marquisius. It's a nice name, ain't it? Uh, you just want to say it all. Either way, he asked Casey um, if he agreed with Astro. And Dario, you put the sashay away music in as kesey had to collect himself before answering that when that sashay away music started the sc i actually screamed i had to pause the video because i was crying laughing hysterically you did not say well do you agree with him do 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 <laughs> Jet Jeff. <laughs> so Dario, was that your way of saying that somebody does agree? <laughs> Cause, whoa. And if so, who was it? <laughs> Cause that boy asked the question and you said sachet away. <laughs> Why did you do this? <laughs> What did you did you edit this on the day we were all sad? Did you edit this the day the homegirl lost the, the the season? What did you edit this the day the Safira got eliminated? Cause I just don't. I was like, yo, why? 
Is that what happened? Was that supposed to be Nymphia's music that we never got, but we we're supposed to get? Is that what happened? Dario, please help me. Because when that music, I, I, I'm, mm, mm. Because here's the thing, for the people who knew the music, you knew exactly what the mood was supposed to be. You caught the shade. I mean, granted, you caught it on Kesey's face, but the music added to it just so Jet, Jet, baby, I love you. I love you. But Dario just told you to sashay away, girl. <laughs> Let this question go. <laughs> oh. mm, Jet, unfortunately, this takeoff was not successful. Sashay away. All right. <laughs> oh, you tickled me to hell with that damn music. I was, I had to rewatch it like four times because it made me laugh so hard. Oh, oh, thank you for that. I appreciated it. I don't, it, you know what? I will say, I won't say it was funny, but it was funny. It was funny. Okay. I hollered. Oh, my fucking God. Oh. <laughs> Okay, let me move on. Let me move on. That was the best edit of the episode for me. <laughs> the best. <laughs> that was single-handedly just the best, like, moment for me. For That was, like, my favorite moment of the season so far. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay. Let me pull this together. <laughs> Do you agree with him? Okay, wait. I got to move on. I got to move on. I got to. All right. The next <laughs> the next scene was the top tier girls. This is clean. Shout out to y'all. Y'all got to get great. Um, next was the baptism scene. Now, here's the deal. When we get in the churches and we film it, we have to be careful because there are other people. We can't show everybody's faces, meaning you have to zoom in a lot. Here's what happens when you zoom in on the camera. When I'm out back way, we can hold a steady because it's a wide shot. But if I zoom her in and I'm holding her, I need y'all to understand most people's hands are not perfectly steady. Right? So they've been standing there with this and they're zoomed in. You can actually see how unsteady someone's hands truly are. And you get a little motion sickness. So I understand why it happened. But we got a little motion sickness during this time. But shout out to Robert getting baptized. That is a massive, massive thing. So shout out to you, Fran, because <clears throat> I remember when I went through it, it was very, very life changing. Um, it makes you really reevaluate a lot of things. So, you know, shout out to that. Um, however, Fran, we do have to talk about one thing. Robert, your <laughs> Robert, let's talk about you as a a production note. Your key to success is the fact that you connect to people. The way you do that is the fact that you can look people dead in their eyes and have a conversation because it's real and it's honest. When you put them big old blackout glasses on, you lose a good chunk of your power. It just, I, 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 there are some people who can do it. And there's another person today who I'm, I'm, I'm going to make the same note for. When you in the moments, especially when you are as expressive as you are, Robert, we need to see your eyes, baby. We need to see them. We need to see the eyes. If you're at a funeral, if you're down to the funeral, I get it. Put the glasses on. When you in this in this green screen, and I get it was a, a tough topic, um, but in those moments, too, and not even tough, but just, you know, a heartfelt topic, in those moments, too, it helps us as an audience connect to you if we can see you here. Especially because you, Robert, are extremely expressive. I know this because we sat up on the lives together. And the best part about it is we get to sit there face to face. Now, granted, we have sat there plenty of times not looking at each other and had just the same amount of fun. I will not lie. I definitely feel like the connection is always better when we both looking at each other. I feel like that is just a general rule when it comes to humans, period. So... Um, please don't wear them big old blackout sunglasses and the green screens no more. No, especially if you're not going to take the time to get the fingerprints out. 
uh, which is like almost impossible to do. So let's just the glasses and the green screens, please. Markel, please. Dario, please. Jamar, looking at you. Nunu, you too, all the way over there, down to the uh, uh, Our View TV. Karan, hey, hey, girl. Who am I missing? I don't want to miss nobody. Brandon, hey, hey, boo, if you come back, please. First of all, please come back. No sunglasses and no sunglasses on the green screens. We need to connect to these people. We want to connect to these people. The point is to connect to these people and build their stories. And when you have people who are, even if they're not the most charismatic, most people can't lie in their eyes when they're talking about something that they care about. Let us see that. Let us in. Let that wall down. Now, if you have a little eye infection or you have, you know, a little puffiness, you know, whoop, 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 the makeup got messed up. Okay. Okay. I guess. But we want to see you. We we really do because that's how we can. Uh, for me, that's how I connect. I can't speak for the whole world, but that's how I connect to the people. And so when I can't see it, it makes me a little sad. Um, JC, now I had to watch this on the replay. Um, and this may be uh, your fault. Did you turn in a commercial with copywritten music, JC? Did he, did he have to go and take your music out? Because he was going to catch a strike. Is that what happened? Because I got to JC's commercial and it was silent. And I said, now nah, how the hell? Ain't no way you turned into silent. Did you turn in copyrighted music, JC? Not nah, JC. We can't do that. You don't want to make Chase and lose their, you know, the things of the things. Okay. Also, hey, Tedley, did you hear me talk about what, uh, the scene should have looked like when you went down to Nevada because, baby, this commercial is what we should have gotten the show, and you would have shut everybody down. <laughs> this we should have saw in the show, and we would shut the girls down. Okay, but but both of y'all, shout out to y'all doing y'all big ones. Um, I just had to make them two little notes about the the commercials. I was very confused. Let's see what else we got next. Ooh, okay. Now we move into this pseudonym reunion of the older cast members. Um, I have a couple things about this that just for me as a viewer made me, I had way too many questions for Markel, the EP, um, than I did for anything else. Um, one, why did we not introduce why these people were getting together off rip? Because you had us sitting with y'all for 10 whatever minutes all of this chaos, whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. we almost had Lemon Squeeze Part 2, um, you and Reese doing what y'all do best, all of that, then Robert tells us what, why we're all together, and then it's real discombobulated, because first it was, we wanted to do this for Ariel, because she wasn't feeling the old group, and she needed to be around her people, but then also wanted to get everybody together, so we can do the vets versus the new cast and it was just i i feel like we should have introed into this a little bit stronger um because while i enjoyed the scene i was very much in the first part of it like my first time watching it through i was just like why are we here what's happening like what what's going on um <laughs> it was nice to see everyone but i was like why is everybody gathered um but this also brings me to, again, this, this sunglasses thing. Ariel, Barbie, you are another one who is extremely charismatic in your eyes. We feel you when we get to see you. Um, like in that moment, and what was that, season three? Season two, season three? Um, but when you were going through it because some of your sisters were... Uh, being, you know, taken out. Like, your, your your sisters was getting taken out left and right, and you expressed your feelings, and you, you said something that was definitely controversial at the time, but I think what helped everyone really get through that was the fact that we could see the pain in your face when you said it. And so it didn't come across as cruel. It came across as... I want to make sure I use the, the correct word. It came across as passionate, right? 
even in this moment, we could feel it to an extent. But if you hadn't had them big old glasses on, it would have been nice to for us to see the energy that the other people felt in the room. Now, we could feel it a little bit through the TV screen. But that's also because Andario made sure to put the good music behind it. To, you know, to whoop, 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 whoop. Um, however, if we didn't have that music, it wouldn't have made sense because we, the audience, wouldn't have gotten a chance to really see you going through it like that. Like, we caught it because, you know, the tears had rolled down so far, but if you were, it would have helped us as the viewers to see you welling up. And I'm not saying, like, because oh, that sounds so bad, right? I don't want to say I like, want to play in your trauma or I, I want to make make a mockery of things that you're going through um but when we are in the situation where we're filming a show and trying to get that together those are things that help people connect um so it would have been nice i ain't never telling nobody you can't wear sunglasses because who the fuck am i y'all don't know me and y'all gonna do what y'all want to do i just would like to be able to see your eyes because we connect that way um now here's my last uh, couple things um there was this now here I'm a details type of person. I am a details type of person, and so when I see some inconsistencies, I'd be like, "Why?" Um, so when we did these lower thirds of the people walking into the building, the way that everybody's seasons were listed was all like almost all of them were different. So you had uh, premiere where it said chasing Dallas S one S two S three, and then it said Dior chasing dallas seasons two through four i was like why why they wasn't the same again nobody but me caught this i promise you but it'd be little stuff like that i'd just be like it's not wrong because it's not right right like it's not wrong information (laughs) <laughs> everybody's lower thirds were correct it was just like you didn't want to make a match you, you they gotta be seen right one behind each other you didn't want to okay girl look you got 50,000 people watching you I don't period <laughs> but it would be real 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 lovely if they do match next time that's all yeah that's it my last note my hey Markel Markel, how did what was that like having to be in that moment where you are supposed to be sitting there kind of as the EP but also in the scene and then to have one of your cast members address you as the EP and not as, you know, friend or, you know, other cast member sitting there. Like she straight up just broke, boom, and addressed you as your job title. Not she didn't say it, but like we could see that it, she was not talking to Markel the friend. She was talking to the boss of Chasing Dallas. I, I give you credit, Markel, for being able to navigate through flipping between that so much because um, I don't know if I would be able to do it so quickly, um, which I think is also a testament to show how much you really care about your cast and how much you really do want these people to succeed. Uh, either way, this is a fun episode. I had a good time laughing through a lot of these edits. Um Dare you ate that sashay away music for me. I'm going to be talking about that for a minute. With that, I'm going to get up, up out of here. Yeah, it's been 30 minutes. We ain't got time for no more of this. I'll see y'all in the next one. If next week episode just as good, I'll give you that. If it is giving a little bit of filler, 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 which is fine. You know, I might get a little filler, filler. I'm lying. I just overdraw them. But, you know, the episode not giving too many notes. We'll just wait until the next week and we'll note it up together. With that, I'm going to get up out of here. Y'all stay lovely, stay beautiful. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.